Hey, this is Mass X with a new One Punch Man, the strongest video, and we just got a notice, and it should be up when this video gets uploaded, that we are receiving a new event called Joyful May Journey. Well, and as always, thanks to the people at One Punch Man, the strongest tips, we can kind of take a closer look at this so it's ready to go when it releases. So this event is beginning on May 1st. It's your pretty much your standard event. They don't seem to change these up too much. Basically, it's gonna be a vitality dump, just so you're aware. You're gonna kill bosses in the main city and you can buy items in shops. There's actually gonna be two separate shops in there and you spend postcards in what's called the Trip Memorial. So, but let's go ahead and take a look at the different options that they are gonna have. Mirror Lake and Boundless Mountain is going to basically be the vitality dump. You're going to clear stages and basically there you go. Like all the other events that we've had. So Mirror Lake is going to drop pebbles and postcards. The normal is eight stages. That's going to cost you 10 vitality each. There you go. Just like the prior events in the hard mode, eight stages is going to cost you 12 vitality each. In Mirror Lake, you're going to get pebbles and postcards. In Boundless Mountain, you're going to get twigs and postcards. And it's very similar. The normal stages are going to cost you 10 vitality each. And the hard stage is going to cost you 12 vitality each. And there's going to be two shops. And this is where you're going to spend the pebbles and twigs. There you go. You know, as always, get what you need. That's priority for you. As we've seen already, the reset locks rarely come up except for in events. So those are always a good buy. But again, look at what you need and work off of that. Just remember there are two of those stores, Mirror Lake and the Boundless Mountain. On those two tabs, you can switch between the two of them. Next is Trip Memorial. This is where you're going to spend your postcards. Basically... You're gonna to want to try to do no more than 10X a day because you want to be able to complete your daily quests in this event. But for every 20 postcards you're gonna be able to send, there are five different tiers, blah, blah, blah. We've seen this before, you know. Basically, to unlock the next tier, you need to obtain the core item that they're offering. And as you can see, hills, village, farm, lake, forest, etc. So it's really going to matter how much time and vitality you're going to want to put into this or money to further yourself along. And here's a preview of what probably will be in the hills section, the first tier. Here's the village, your next tier. The farm, which is your third tier. Lake, which will be your fourth tier and forest which would be your last tier so this is going to really come down to you know luck as well as how much you want to put into it then we've got trip perfection which is basically another type of mini event in it where you basically look for enemy bosses in the main city we've done this before in other scenarios in this game pretty much you know what it's what it's going to be like so you're going to get three attempts and then after that you're going to have to spend gems if you want more attempts after that. And then of course we're going to have daily and event quests on our holiday tasks. So again with this just you know do your dailies and these usually fall into place. You know the, the daily quests are going to be pretty straightforward as we know it's usually purchase vitality in the mall twice. Draw ten times trip memorial you know etc etc. The event and quests will probably be your standard stuff like logins, cl clear different stages, you know, nothing surprising here. Again, it's an event, there's stuff to get for free, with this is always going it with some caution, marrying on how much vitality you really want to dump into this, so keep that in mind, especially with the new LSSR banner. You know, vitality becomes an issue now between building a character and doing the event. So, you know, just pick, pick wisely and choose the things that you want. And don't usually go overboard in these because it's absolutely unnecessary. Unless you got the extra vitality and there's a lot of stuff in there you want, then go for it. Because these events do have quality items in there. 
With that, as always, please like and subscribe. Have a great day.